In this video, I show you how to add a background image in Word. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Adding a background image is something cool you can go and add to a Word document, so I'll show you how. So firstly, what you need to do is go to the top left and go and tap on design, just like so. Then once you've tapped on design, you then need to go over to the right hand side to where you can go and see the option for watermark and you need to go and click on it. It will then sort of drop down a menu of options and what you need to do is go right to the bottom and then go and tap on custom watermark like so. You'll then go and get this window here called printed watermark pop up and now you may be thinking I don't want a watermark but don't worry we can basically go and use this watermark function to go and add a background image. So then what you can do is go and tap on a picture watermark like so and then you can go and tap on select picture and your file explorer will then open and you can go and choose the image you'd like to set as your background. I've now gone and selected the image here so I'll then go and tap on insert like this and now before it goes and appears we've got a few more settings and before we go and tap apply or okay what we need to do is choose if you want the image to be washed out or not. Personally I like it to be washed out because otherwise the text is quite hard to read. So then all you then need to do is tap OK like this, give it a moment and as you can see there we go. My background image is a load of my videos and then if you want to make it bigger or smaller what you need to do is go to the top or bottom and then go and double tap and this is then going to go and open up uh, the header and footer settings and then if I click here you can then go and resize the background image so you can go and use one of these points on the side as you can see I can then go and make it bigger, I can do the top left as well just like that. Then once you finish resizing it you can then go and tap on close header and footer at the top and if you want to make any further edits then all you need to do is go back into the design tab in the top left then go over to the right where it says watermark and then tap on custom watermark and you could then go and remove the washout effect and tap ok and that is how it would look and it definitely is harder to read when it is not washed out so I'd probably go and turn that back on but if you guys found this useful then please consider leaving a like peace